standing at 7 foot 1, the Great Kali towered over his opponents. Not only was he a destructive force, as his name suggested, but his intimidating presence was enough to instill fear in his opponents. We're of course forgetting about the Punjabi playboy phase. Kali's gigantic size landed him a few roles in Hollywood movies. Four of them, in fact, and two Bollywood movies. The first one being the 2005 film The Longest Yard, where he had very little to say. I'm gonna take a piss. Also in that film were WWE superstars Goldberg, Kevin Nash, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Does the N word offend you? What did you say? Kali continues to appear in the odd movie and TV show. But let's hope that his Hollywood career doesn't end up like his WWE one. You are the tooth fairy, the world's largest tooth fairy. You can't handle the truth. This one may surprise you, but Mr. Monday Night. Wow. Man. Has acted in a few Hollywood movies. Due to his background in mixed martial arts, RVD has appeared in a few low budget martial arts films, including Blood Moon and Black Mask 2. <laughs> he has also starred in some rather forgettable films, such as The Wrong Side of Town and three-headed shark attack. While his acting wasn't great by any means, what was great was seeing RVD again at WWE Raw Reunion. Either it was a pleasant surprise, or he was so high, he lost his way from the next Impact Wrestling venue. Smoke weed every day. The 14-time world champion Triple H is known by a lot of names. The Game. The Cerebral Assassin, The King of Kings, and Jocko Grimwood? What the hell is that? That was the name of the big and brutal vampire character he played in the 2004 film Blade Trinity. During his fight scene with Hannibal King, played by Ryan Reynolds, Triple H does a few wrestling moves that we're used to seeing him do, including a power slam, as well as a signature facebreaker knee smash. I guess you could say. He fought Deadpool. Triple H was praised by the film's producers, who were impressed with his performance, but the same can't be said about his other movies produced by WWE Studios, Inside Out and The Chaperone. That movie star isn't you in The Chaperone. It's how, was, an, it's... how was your movie, by the way? Oh, I missed I, it. Mine, mine went straight to DVD, just like yours. <laughs> This is one you certainly wouldn't expect, but The Undertaker made his acting debut back in 1991, when he appeared in the film Suburban Commando, which starred fellow WWE wrestler Hulk Hogan as the main protagonist. In the film, The Undertaker plays the role of a mean intergalactic bounty hunter. Well, sort of. No wonder you guys never talk. And battles with the Hulkster. As you can see, the film was bad. Goldberg bad. This was the only film The Undertaker himself appeared in, and probably for the best, as a WWE ring is where the phenom truly belongs. Rest in peace. <laughs> Who would have thought the big dog Roman Reigns would find himself on the big screen, especially Reigns got his first taste of Hollywood when he starred as one of The Rock's brothers in the 2019 Fast and Furious spin-off film Hobbs and Shaw. During the filming process, Reigns got a little too into his role and ended up accidentally knocking out a cameraman with a club. <laughs> Come to think of it, it was probably the cameraman who pushed the metal scaffolding onto Roman as revenge. Now that Reigns has experienced the bright lights of Hollywood, it seems like he's hungry for more. 
Could we see the big dog appear in more movies to come? Roman Reigns is certainly all for it. Roman Reigns and The Rock should both be in the MCU. What is the MCU? I'm agreeing with you. That, that sounds great too.